Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karen and I have been living the keto lifestyle for seven and a half months now. Today we are going to be making a bacon wrapped keto meatloaf. My husband was scrolling through Facebook and he saw one of those videos pop up with a bacon wrapped meatloaf recipe. It wasn't keto, but I'm going to change things up a little bit and make it keto. So let's start with the ingredients. We have four eggs rolling around in there, ground beef. I'm not sure how much I'm going to use. Probably just use it all. If I have any extra, I'll just roll up some meatballs or something. Ground beef, bacon, some diced onions, some marinara sauce, a little sour cream. Instead of breadcrumbs, we're gonna use a little bit of this psyllium husk and some Parmesan Romano cheese. And then just spices, salt, pepper, my normal stuff, Italian seasoning, onion powder, minced garlic, and some garlic powder. Oh, I'm forgetting something. Mozzarella cheese. Gotta go get that. And some whole milk mozzarella cheese. I have a couple of backups too, just in case I don't know how much it's gonna take, but we're gonna actually put the mozzarella in the center of the meatloaf with a little bit of marinara sauce, and then we're gonna cover it with meat and then wrap the bacon over it. We'll see how it turns out. First time making this recipe, like all my recipes usually. My husband's sleeping upstairs, he's working nights again, so if I'm a little quiet, I'll try to adjust the sound when I edit, but it might be a little quiet. So first, preheat your oven to 350. And I already just cracked my eggs in here. We're gonna add all the chopped meat. probably too much. You probably only need two of these. But like I said, if any got left over, I'll just make some meatballs out of it. So your hands are going to get dirty on this. Alright, so we got our meat, we got our eggs, so throw some onions in there. I'm not measuring anything in this recipe. I have meatloaf, meatballs, never any measurements. Just add as much as you like. Some Parmesan cheese. So you can't use breadcrumbs, so this is gonna replace the breadcrumbs and a little bit of this. I've never used this before. So I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna taste. I'm not gonna use too much. This is my first time. So if anybody saw my last video, the It Works wraps, I finished my last wrap, not this morning, yesterday morning. So I'm gonna take some after pictures and do just a quick video reviewing that. Probably not gonna edit this one, I'll make it separate. Oh, another funny thing happened. My husband was scrolling through Facebook, like he always does, 
and he just happened to click on an ad. No, he didn't even click on it. He has the ads that just automatically run, the videos that automatically run. So he was just like kind of stopped and a video was running and then he saw my picture and he saw my video from YouTube. So a company, the breath, ketone breath meter company actually took a piece of my video from YouTube and like two other or three other people and used it in their Facebook advertisement. I think that's pretty cool. I know it's a, a copyright issue, but obviously I'm not big enough to really make any money for an ad right now. So which is cool because I bought that product. Well, Jimmy bought that product for me. It was not sent to me by the company. The company never reached out to me to use my video in their ad, but my daughter wanted me to start this YouTube channel because she wanted me to be famous. If you go back to like my original video, why I started the channel, you know, it was, she set it up for me. She set up the Gmail account, made my YouTube channel, everything. And that's how it all started. So she finally thinks I'm famous because she saw me in an ad on Facebook. So it's pretty cool. All right. So this is, you don't want to mix this too much. This is kind of mixed good. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do the bacon. Let me just wash my hands. So this was like the biggest meatloaf pan I had. So it's really not big at all. So I'm going to use this disposable one as well. So what we're going to do, we'll start with that one. We're going to take the bacon. We're going to put it like halfway. Make sure it's going to cover that. Just kind of let it hang off the side. Halfway across the bottom, let it hang on the side. You're going to go all the way around the bacon. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, so now we're gonna take some chopped meat and put it all around. We're gonna kinda just smush it into the bottom and the sides. Because we're gonna add some mozzarella in the middle. meat on top. And then we're going to wrap the rest of the bacon around. And it's really simple. I mean, it's going to take like, 10 minutes, maybe.
oven. I'm thinking for about 50 minutes, but we will check it. All those pieces tucked in. Right, so this is what it looks like. And we're gonna stick it in the oven for about 50 minutes at 350. Alexa, set a timer for 50 minutes. 50 minutes, starting now. Okay, so I gotta give you bloopers because I am not a great cook and I try and so the bacon, the smoke detectors just went off and my husband is trying to sleep. It's great, right? He's been working nights and yeah, this is me. This is how I cook. So I grabbed the smoke detector off the ceiling, ran outside with it fast. <laughs> so I stuffed this a little too much and the bacon grease is like falling off the sides into the bottom of the oven and burning. So I didn't even get out from my run yet. And now I have to deal with this. So, okay, if you stuff your, your tin high, make sure you put a baking sheet underneath to catch the grease or else you're gonna smoke out your entire house. Look at this place. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna fix this problem. Then I'm gonna go for a run and everything's gonna be fine. Welcome back to Karen's Crazy Keto Kitchen. So yeah, this is a little more complicated than I thought. This is how it should be put in the oven on a baking tray <laughs> just in case the grease drips so right now i have my my racks out i'm gonna make some kind of concoction here to try to clean this because it's like look at this it's all burnt i can't cook like that it's gonna end up smelling like tasting like burnt so yeah hopefully i get out for a run you know what's good that i didn't go for a run like i actually waited like five minutes because if i had gone for a run uh, my husband's sleeping with like earplugs in upstairs. The whole house would have been completely filled with smoke. Who knows? There could have been an oven fire. So it's a good thing that I didn't run right out. All right, to be continued. <laughs> so we are back in business. It turns out my oven needed a good cleaning anyway. So got a clean oven now. It's back in there. But I'm afraid. I'm afraid to go for a run. What should I do? What do you think? Go for it. Maybe just run around the block like two times and come back and check. That's what I'm gonna do. Can't just sit here. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. So my house is still standing and I was able to get my run in. The meatloaf took a little longer than I thought. I had set the timer for 50 minutes, but I had that little interruption. I tried to, you know, make up for it without preheating the oven again. So I'm not exactly sure, but I'm thinking at least an hour. You should cook this, but we're gonna take it out now. It's been like an hour and five minutes because of my little oven interruption. <laughs> yeah, so it worked out much better with the baking sheet underneath it. Ooh, there's a lot of grease. And that's what they look like. It's a lot of grease. I'm gonna pour off some of this grease and then I'm gonna let them cool off and then we'll, we will have a taste, see how they came out. And I'm sure that mistake before was a total rookie mistake. This, when I started this channel, I really hadn't ever cooked much. I used to bake a little bit, but never really cooked. So I'm basically learning as I go. Another thing I did once, it wasn't on a video, but the oven was hot and I forgot to put pepper on something and I opened up the oven and I went to sprinkle the pepper. I was standing over it. The pepper flew like right back up in my eyes. I'm sure that's a rookie mistake too. I'm learning as I go. So one day I might be a good cook one of these days. All right, let's give this a try. See how it came out. First piece is always the hardest. Oh, cheesy. Oh, it's falling apart. Ah. All right, well, 
just kind of fell apart. Probably should have let it cool a little bit more. Very cheesy, meaty mess. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's just taste. Like I said, cook for like an hour and five minutes. It looks like it's cooked all the way through. It's not pink at all. So I'm gonna get a little bit of everything, a little bit of bacon, a little bit of cheese, maybe a lot of cheese. All right, let's see. It smells delicious. That's really good. It's really messy, but it's delicious. All right, well, that was a fun recipe. Had a little close call there. Make sure you put a baking sheet under your loaf pan because grease fire might happen. All right, guys, I hope you like my videos. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos. The next video I'm gonna do is gonna be the It Works Body Wrap review.